One, key sliding drill. Why, that's it. Conditioning is a key component of being a complete basketball player. In this drill, the players line up behind each other in the center of the key. On the coach's go command, okay, the stop. players slide from Get side to up. side. Make sure that the players have their hands up while sliding. This drill should be done for 10 to 12 seconds at a time. The benefit of this drill is overall conditioning. This drill is recommended for players of all ages. Two, run and slide. This is another excellent conditioning drill. Players form a straight line and on the coach's command, run forward until they reach a designated spot, then slide to the side, then run backward toward the direction they originally came from. While running backward, players should pump their arms. As in the key sliding drill, hands must be held up. This drill helps in overall conditioning and in practicing the defensive stance while moving. The coach can utilize the whole court if available. This drill is recommended for players of all ages. Three, follow the leader. This drill can be a cooling down drill as well as a conditioning drill. Players form a single line and with the first player as the leader, follow the lines around the gym. Adding a ball to this drill will help players practice their ball handling. The coach can encourage a faster pace at any time, such as pushing the players to run harder for the final 15 or 30 seconds. This drill gives the coach a chance to go over various points with the players, instead of sitting them down to listen. The coach should reinforce basic dribbling techniques. This drill is recommended for players of all ages. Four, tip drill. Another excellent conditioning drill that's also a great team building drill is the tip drill. Players form a single line at the foul line. When the coach gives the go command, the first player will hit the ball off the backboard. The next player and each following player catches the ball in the air and taps it against the backboard. This continues and players can go two, three, four or five times. The drill can be timed and you can make it competitive. It can also be done with two lines. This drill is recommended for all ages. Five, three-man weave. The three-man weave is an excellent conditioning drill that uses the full court. Players form three lines, one under the basket and the other two near each corner. The line in the middle starts with the ball. On the go command, the player with the ball passes to one of the other lines, and the three players run up the court, passing and going behind the man they pass to until they reach the basket, and the player with the ball does a layup shot. The ball should not touch the floor. They return to the other end of the court, then the next three go. Coaches can start the drill with five passes, and when the players have mastered the drill, go to four passes. This drill helps in teamwork, team spirit, and conditioning. A variation of the three-man weave is the three-man weave with rush. After doing the weave down the court, the players stay in their lane coming back with the ball, stop in the middle line at the foul line, and feed the ball to one of the wings. This drill is recommended for all ages. Six, defensive stance. The correct defensive stance is essential. Here we have a player in the correct position. Note the low center of gravity and staggered stance. Key points to teach defensive players are to steer the offensive player away from the basket toward the sideline. Shot block with the left hand and don't try to block the shot, but block vision. It is also very important for younger players to be taught not to cross their feet. The drop step is critical when playing defense. Players' vision should be focused on the stomach so as to avoid a head fake. Players should be taught these points at the youngest possible age 
and these defensive fundamentals should be reinforced at all practices. 7. Zigzag Defensive Stance This intense drill is a dual-purpose drill, working on the defensive stance while moving and also benefiting conditioning. Players will form a line in the defensive stance and move in a zigzag movement using part or all of the court. Cones can be set up for markers. This drill reinforces almost all of the techniques of the defensive stance. The coach should emphasize that the player should stay low, keeping a good center of gravity with hands out and good balance. Remind younger players not to cross their feet. This drill is recommended for all ages. Eight. Shot block. There are many important defensive drills which can be improved with practice. In this drill, one player, the defender, starts under the basket with the ball and passes to the shooter at the foul line. After he passes, he comes running with his left hand up, yells, shot, and tries to block the vision of the shooter. This is really a dual purpose drill, combining shooting under pressure and blocking the shot. Though this drill is called shot block, the defender really does not try to block the shot, but tries to block the vision of the shooter. By concentrating on blocking the shooter's vision, he can avoid fouling. It's important to note that since most shooters are right-handed, the defender's left arm is closer to the ball than his right. Also, the defender should always yell shot when the shooter releases the ball so his teammates know the shot is going up. You can add boxing out as a progression to this drill. This drill is recommended for all ages. 9. Stationary Ball Handling Without Dribbling This stationary ball handling drill is an excellent warm-up drill. Players are in two or three lines and each player has a ball. The players remain stationary while the coach tells the players what to do with the ball. The instructions are as follows. Hand slap, behind waist, one knee, other knee, figure eight, then up to waist, then neck. As the coach calls out the instructions, the players move the ball accordingly. This is a great coordination and warm-up drill. The coach can point out fundamentals such as keeping the ball on the fingertips. This drill is recommended for all ages. 10. Hand switch. In this drill, players stand still and hold the ball between their legs with one arm extended in front and their other arm in back. When the coach yells, go, the players will quickly switch their front and back arms, letting the ball bounce only once on the floor. Players catch the ball before the second bounce with their arms in the opposite position from where they started. Players do this continuously. After this is mastered, move on to the same action without letting the ball bounce on the floor. The players have to move their hands and arms in a rapid motion. This is also great for coordination and increasing hand speed. Start the drill with a bounce and progress to no bounce. The more quickly your players can do it, the better. This drill is recommended for all ages. 11. Ball behind neck. This is another stationary ball handling drill. Each player holds a ball behind his neck. When the coach gives the go command, players release the ball. As the ball drops, each player must catch the ball behind his waist. Once this has been mastered, the drill can be made more challenging. After a player releases the ball behind his neck, he must clap his hands before catching the ball behind his waist. This is excellent for increasing hand speed and coordination. This drill is recommended for all ages. 12. Bounce Between Legs This stationary ball handling drill is called Bounce Between Legs. Each player has a ball and stands holding the ball in front of his body about waist high with his legs spread apart. Players attempt to bounce the ball between their legs and catch the ball behind their bodies with both hands. Once this has been mastered, have the players continuously bounce the ball front to back, then back to front. This is another great drill for coordination and hand speed and is recommended for all ages. 13. Machine Gun and Stationary Dribbling In this two-part ball handling drill, players begin by sitting down. Each player has a ball and dribbles between his legs at a rapid pace. Then players stand up and dribble around one leg, then the other leg, and finally do a figure eight dribble. Hand speed and general coordination will be enhanced if these drills are done diligently. The coach should reinforce all the fundamentals of dribbling. 
emphasizing using the fingertips and keeping the head up. The figure eight will help with foot speed. Doing a lot of these ball handling drills will help in almost all aspects of the game of basketball. Younger players especially should practice ball handling at every practice. 14. Dribble, hesitate, shoot. In this drill, players line up in one line at one end of the court. On the coach's command, they will dribble to a certain point on the court and at a designated spot, which could be a cone, do a hesitation dribble, which means stopping short while continuing to dribble. The player then continues at full speed to the block on the other end of the floor and shoots. This drill simulates leading a fast break. The hesitation dribble gets the defender to back off slightly. The dribbler then explodes past the defender, who may be in a relaxed or off-balance position. This drill is recommended for all ages. 15. Dribble knockout and dribble tag. Practices can be made more effective and enjoyable by having one or more drills in the form of a game. In dribble knockout, all players except one have a ball and are in a confined area. On the go command, the player without the ball has to knock the ball away from one of the ball handlers. Players whose ball is knocked away are out and must go outside the designated area. Younger kids can play a similar game, dribble tag, which is like regular tag in a confined area. One player is it and has to tag another player. Dribble tag is a great way to break up a practice. An important teaching point in the dribble knockout game is that the ball handler practices keeping his body between the ball and his man and works on general ball handling. In both dribble knockout and dribble tag, the coach should mix up the dribbling hands, having a right hand turn, then left hand, then both hands. This drill is recommended for all ages. 16. Relay race. In this relay race with a basketball, players form two lines, and on the go command, each line dribbles to a designated spot and returns, handing off the ball to the next player. It is best to use one ball per line, and the ball must be handed off to the next person, not passed. This basic drill is an effective, competitive way of having players practice their speed ball handling skills. The coach can designate which hand to use and mix it up, saying left hand up and right hand back, or limiting the number of dribbles. This drill is recommended for all ages. 17. Chest Pass This drill practices the most used pass in basketball, the chest pass. Players partner up and pass to each other, trying for a good spin on the ball. Players should start at a certain distance and gradually move back. The coach should check that after the release, their wrists are facing outward. It's extremely important that the player receiving the pass give a target. In all passing drills, it's fundamental for players to show a target. The pass should be caught right around chest high. Younger players should work at this at every practice, mixing up the drills, both stationary and moving. This skill should be practiced at the youngest age possible. 18. Stationary Chest Pass Game This drill is a great game for younger players. Each player takes a ball and lines up with plenty of space in between. On the go command, the players throw a chest pass to themselves a few feet in the air. With each pass, they try to throw the ball higher and higher. If a player moves his feet to catch the ball, he's out. This drill provides a competitive game to teach the fundamentals of the chest pass. This drill is recommended for all ages. 19. Stationary Chest Pass and Dribble once players have practiced the chest pass in a stationary position, they can progress to the stationary pass and dribble. Players will chest pass to their partners, who, after catching the ball, will dribble around the passers and return to their spots to become the passers. This drill combines two skills, passing and dribbling. This is a great multi-purpose drill that can be set up as a competition. This drill is recommended for all ages. 20. Bounce Pass and Dribble the bounce pass is one of the most effective yet underutilized passes in basketball. The action here is fundamentally the same as with the chest pass. Players will pass the ball on one bounce so that it ends up around their partner's stomach. 
Palms should be facing out after the pass is made. The bounce pass should be incorporated into the pass and dribble drill. Players throw a bounce pass to their partners, who dribble around the passers and return to their spots to become the passers. The coach can also mix up the dribbling, using only the left or the right hand, and can add crossovers for older players. 21. Circle Pass Drill In the circle pass drill, players form a circle with one player in the middle. Using one ball, the player in the middle passes to a player in the circle and continues around the circle. The coach will call out the player's name to switch. This drill reinforces basic passing skills and providing a good target. After mastering the drill with one ball, you can progress to two. Practicing the chest pass with two balls, this drill is a good coordination drill. This drill is recommended for all ages. 22. Pass and Slide In the pass and slide drill, two lines of players face each other. Each pair has a ball and the line moves in pairs. The players start with chest passes, then move to bounce passes, reinforcing basic passing skills. Players must be sure that passes start at the chest, with palms facing out. Players receiving the pass must present a good target. Coaches should start the players on this drill at the earliest possible age. 23. Line Pass and Slide In this drill, the players form one line, shoulder to shoulder. One player faces the line with the ball and on the go command passes to the player opposite him. He then slides to the next player to receive the pass and continues on down the line. You can progress to two players and two balls, then three players and three balls. Another variation players enjoy is dribbling back in and out of the stationary line, trying to avoid being hit by the ball that the other players are passing. The benefits of this drill include passing skills on the move and conditioning. Coaches should remind players of fundamental passing and dribbling techniques. This drill is recommended for ages 7 and 8 with one ball. Older players should try this drill with more than one ball. 24. Pass Fake Groups of Three Pass Fake Groups of Three simulates passing under pressure. In this drill, there are two passers with one ball and one defender in the middle. The passers pass to each other and the defender tries to steal the ball. The passers should practice stepping by the defensive man on an angle to seal the defender and make the pass. Remember to emphasize keeping the body between the ball and the defender. This drill should be done in 15 to 30 second intervals, then switch the passers and defenders. This drill is recommended for all ages. Good. 25. Form shooting. It's an excellent idea to go over the correct shooting form a couple of days a week at practice, then go right into a shooting drill. Correct shooting form has the right foot forward for a right-handed shooter. Hands then rotate to an L position on the fingertips, not on the palm. A simple drill that can be done anywhere is to have the players form the L, put the ball in the arm, and squeeze. This reinforces the importance of keeping the elbow straight while shooting. Form shooting should be taught to all players 10 and older. 26. Team form shooting. In team form shooting, each player takes a ball and lines up facing the wall. On the go command, each player practices form shooting against the wall. This allows players to concentrate on form instead of making a basket. As the players are doing the drill, the coach walks along the line checking the player's form, reminding them to keep the ball on their fingertips and their elbows straight, with the seams of the ball straight across. This drill is recommended as soon as form shooting is taught, usually age 10 and up. 27. Team Form Shooting at Rim From shooting against the wall, players can progress to shooting at the rim. Two or three players stand about 8 to 10 feet away from a basket, aiming at the front of the rim. The players should concentrate on the front of the rim, not on getting a basket. 
This drill can be done for a few minutes at each practice. This drill is recommended for ages 10 and up. 28. Layup without dribble. The layup without the dribble should be one of the earliest shooting drills taught. In this drill, players take turns shooting layups, concentrating on their form. This is the best drill to teach the layup. With no dribbling, the players are free to concentrate on form. Players should concentrate on a high jump action. A long jump action will take the player too far under the rim. Players should remember not to pump the ball, but to keep it steady. This drill is recommended for all ages, especially younger players. Good. 29. Two-line layup without dribble. In this drill, players form two lines, one shooting, one rebounding. The coach sets the shooting line so that no dribbling is necessary to reach the basket. Players shoot a basic layup, going up on the inside foot and shooting with the outside hand. Coaches should point out that going off on the inside foot and shooting with the outside hand protects the ball by putting the body between the ball and the defender. The rebounder should get the ball before it bounces, so the ball never touches the floor in this drill. This drill is recommended for all ages. 30. Layup with power dribble. The next step in layup drills is to add a power dribble, which gives more of a game-like situation. The shooting and rebounding lines are moved back behind the box. The shooter takes one power dribble and shoots the layup. Once a player shoots, he goes to the rebounding line and the rebounder goes to the shooting line. Players should practice jumping high rather than long and concentrating on keeping the ball steady. For younger players, the correct form is more important than making the actual layup. This drill is recommended for all ages. 31. Three-basket layup drill. This is an excellent conditioning drill for shooting layups with dribbling. Using half the gym with three baskets, players line up in the center of the gym and on the go command dribble in for a layup at each basket, starting on the right and continuing counterclockwise. Players can start with three dribbles and go to two, then one, practicing making the layups with one dribble without a traveling violation. If the full gym is available, you can use all six baskets. The coach can make it more intense by requiring the players to make each basket before moving to the next. And if a player is passed, he has to do five push-ups. This drill gives players the benefit of a lot of repetitions. It's recommended for all ages. 32. Layup, dribble, shoot. This multi-skill drill uses more than one basket and combines shooting a layup, dribbling, and shooting an outside shot. The layup line will start on the right, then move to the center, then move to the left. Players form two lines, one shooting a layup and one rebounding. The rebounding players dribble to the side basket, shoot, rebound, and pass to the next player in the shooting line. This drill can be done for time, 45 or 60 seconds, or for the number of outside shots made. The coach should remind the players to bank the layup going down the middle so the ball doesn't hit the back of the rim and bounce out. This drill is recommended for all ages. 33. Three-man shoot. Three players are involved in this drill. A shooter, a passer, and a rebounder. The drill starts with the passer around the foul line, passing to the shooter in the corner. After he shoots, he runs over and touches the wall or bleachers and runs back to his spot for his next shot. While the shooter is doing this, the rebounder gets the ball and passes it to the passer. This continues either for a specified time period or for the number of shots made. The players then rotate positions. This drill helps with shooting techniques and conditioning. It also keeps the shooter moving instead of standing still, simulating game conditions. Passing and rebounding techniques are also used. This drill is recommended for all ages. 34. Box to Box A shooting drill with a lot of repetitions is the box to box drill. Players line up at as many baskets as are available. 
They start on one box with the ball, shoot, rebound, move to the opposite box and repeat. This drill can be done for time or for the number of shots made. Players should try not to let the ball hit the floor. If they are making the shots, they will be in a good rhythm. This drill helps with shooting form and practicing a high percentage shot. With a lot of repetitions in a short period of time, this is a good conditioning drill. Players can also practice on their own in a driveway or playground. This drill is recommended for all ages. 35. Box to box with two balls. This drill is done with a partner and two balls. The drill starts with each ball on a box. On the go command, one player picks up a ball, shoots, goes to the next box, picks up that ball and shoots. The other player rebounds, putting the balls back on the box. This drill can be done for time or number of baskets made. This drill gives the players a lot of repetitions. It also teaches the players to get used to picking up a loose ball and shooting, in addition to shooting off the dribble or from a pass. This is a great drill to make competitive and is recommended for all ages. If younger players need to move closer to the basket, the coach can put down two pieces of masking tape to mark the shooting spots. 36. Sprint, pass, shoot. As players' skills progress, more drills should simulate game conditions. This multi-skill passing and shooting drill is one of the best. The players start under the basket in one line. They sprint to a line near half court and come back for a pass, show a target, receive the ball, shoot, get the rebound and pass to the next player. The rebounder then becomes the shooter. Coaches can move the shooting spot to different areas on the court and can increase or decrease the number of shooting spots depending on the age or skill of the players. You can adjust the distance for the younger players. This drill is recommended for all ages. 37. Sprint, pass, shoot, two line. For the next drill progression, we add a second line and run the drill the same way. Because there is a second line, the players will work harder and it becomes a conditioning drill as well. Players 12 and above should be able to do this drill in two lines. Younger players should stick to one line. 38. Shots across the lane. Another great shooting drill is shots across the lane, which is done with three balls. The coach should walk the players through this drill once, then get right into it. Once the players learn their rotations, this drill is not that difficult. Players form two lines across from each other. The first player in one line passes to the player in the other line, who receives the ball on the run, stops and shoots at about the foul line. The passing line gets the rebound. The player who shoots the ball goes toward the corner and the rebounder passes it to him. He in turn passes it to the shooting line. This drill allows players to practice shooting on the move, which is the way most shots in a game are taken. Drills that require more than one basketball are difficult for the younger players. This drill is recommended for ages 12 and up depending on skill level. As players improve as individuals and as a team, coaches should add drills that require several skills at once. This drill is set up the same way as shots across the lane, but with a crossover dribble. It's also appropriate for ages 12 and up. 39. Hot Spots This is an excellent shooting drill that focuses on the three highest percentage shooting spots that occur in a game. The players form three lines on three spots on the court. The foul line, the right corner, and the left corner. It's important in this drill that the coach not arbitrarily pick any three spots on the court. The first player in each line shoots, gets his rebound and passes to the next player in line. Coaches can make this drill a competition between lines and should rotate the lines after a certain amount of time. This drill is recommended for all ages. For younger players, the shooting distance can be moved closer to the basket. 40. Shot Fake Another excellent shooting drill is called shot fake. This can be done from any spot on the court. One player passes the ball to the shooter who gives a head fake, dribbles around the defender and shoots. A key point in this drill is that the shooter should show the ball so it freezes the defender for a moment. The shooter then gives a head fake and goes around the defender and shoots. 
It's important for the shooter to dribble off the defender's hip and not go wide around him, which would give the defender a chance to recover. This is another multi-skill drill, combining defensive shot-blocking fundamentals with offensive skills. Adjust the distance from which the shot will be taken, depending on your player's age. This drill is recommended for ages 10 and up. 41. Manhattan 1 2 3. Players who master basic shooting drills can progress to more advanced drills. Come on, Sean. Brian. This drill involves three lines and three basketballs. Players in one line shoot at the foul line. After they shoot, they go to the line under the basket, which is the rebounding line. The rebounding line passes to the line on the left, whose players shoot from the box area, then go to the foul line. Rotation and timing are critical. Do this drill on both sides of the floor. This drill is an excellent, fast-paced, game-like drill with a lot of repetitions. Good, Nathan, good this drill is recommended for ages 12 and up, though younger players can try this drill with two balls. 42, first to five, first to 10. This drill is a great way to end a practice. Each player has a partner, and the two groups stand in opposite corners of the court. On the go command, the first player shoots from his corner. His partner then retrieves the ball and shoots from any corner. The first pair up to five or ten wins. Each team should yell out when they get a basket, saying what number they're up to. Making this drill competitive makes it more intense and creates a game-like situation. As in any shooting drill, you can adjust the distance according to age. Younger players can shoot from the box. This drill is recommended for all ages. 43. Full Court Pass and Shoot The full court pass and shoot combines passing on the run with shooting on the run. Two players stand apart on each side of the full court while the remaining players form two lines. The first player on each line takes a ball, passes on the run to a player on the sideline, receives a pass back, and continues passing back and forth until he gets close to the basket and shoots. He then goes to the other line and does the same thing going the other way. In this drill, the ball should not touch the floor until after the player takes the shot. This is a great drill for practicing shooting on the run and a good conditioning drill. This drill is recommended for players 12 and up. Coaches can make adjustments to this drill for younger players by using only one line, with the players dribbling to the other end of the court and getting back on the same line. 44. Straight box. In the straight box, there is a shooter, two offensive players, and two defensive players. The shooter shoots, and each player boxes his man out. This is a great drill to make into a competition. For instance, if one of the offensive players gets the rebound, he gets two points. Because the defensive players have the inside position, they get one point for each rebound. We teach our players to box out their opponents for about a second and a half while retrieving the rebound. This drill is recommended for ages 10 and up. The straight box with outlet drill is the same as the straight box drill, but we add a progression, throwing the rebound to the outlet man. Remember on the outlet pass to pivot to the outside. 45. Pivot and pitch. This rebounding drill is called the pivot and pitch. One player is the rebounder, one the outlet man. The rebounder throws the ball against the backboard, gets the rebound, pivots to the outside, and throws to the outlet man. The important points in this drill are for the rebounder to bring the ball to about his chin and always pivot to the outside. Use both sides of the court and switch sides so players get used to pivoting to the outside on both sides. This drill is recommended for all ages and coaches can make the distances closer for the younger players. 46. Rotation Box The rotation box calls for one shooter, three offensive and three defensive players. The three defensive players are rotating clockwise, and the coach gives the signal for the shooter to shoot. On the shot, the defensive player yells, shot, and boxes out the player he is nearest. This drill is important because it teaches players to box out from a moving position rather than from a stationary position. 
Remember, in a game, there's movement most of the time, and we want to create game-like conditions. The coach can make this drill competitive, just like the straight box, giving one point for a defensive rebound and two points for an offensive rebound. This drill is recommended for ages 10 and up. The coach should always reinforce the fundamentals of boxing out. 47. Cross Box The cross box is an advanced rebounding drill similar to the straight box, except that the players cross over, like a crisscross to box out the other offensive player. This teaches players to find the target while they're moving, creating a game-like situation. This is a little more advanced and is recommended for players age 12 and up. The coach should make sure to rotate offense and defense often. In any rebounding drill, the coach can put in the outlet pass. 48. Foul shooting form. Foul shooting can determine the outcome of many games. There are certain tips coaches can use to increase a team's foul shooting percentage. This sequence shows the correct approach and form while shooting a foul shot. There is a nail in the center of the foul line on the two main baskets on virtually every basketball court. For right-handed shooters, the right foot should be directly behind the nail with the leg spread and balanced. Players should follow the same pattern each time. For instance, if a player dribbles three times then shoots, he should do it that way every time. Many players tend to focus on the ball while dribbling, then look up at the basket. The shooter should actually focus on the rim while taking his dribbles. The correct shooting form is using the fingertips, not the palm, with one hand guiding the ball. The elbow should be straight, and the player should aim for the front of the rim. Start practicing foul shooting at the earliest possible age.